Everybody, happy Watson Wednesday! Nice to see you guys again. We're here with a Sherlock Holmes game called Crimes and Punishments. Yeah, there were like a few different Sherlock Holmes games that I could have picked, but I just ended up reading the reviews like on Steam uh, and seeing which one, which one people. There was one. There was one that was like. Oh, this one, this Sherlock Holmes game is good, but it's not as good as these other two, so... That's how I picked. Apparently, when, there's one that uh, has to do with myths, though, which is... We could play that one at some point, too. 
Hello. Okay. Now I can hear the game. Wait, can you hear the game audio? Wait. Now. Wait. Now. Now I can hear the game audio. Is this a good volume for it? I want it to be kind of loud because I listened to the stream yesterday and I could barely hear like the BGM or the game even though you guys are like, it's too loud, it's too loud. Okay. I actually haven't really tested the game, but I think it'll be okay. The Steam review said there weren't too many bugs in this one. What does it say? Oh. Nice. <gasps> oh my god! My name! That's my name! These are the neurons, right? My neurons, they're firing off! Wiggins! Wiggins! Wait, Black Peter? Mm -hmm. So this is the first case, I guess. Find gameplays, gameplay or interface instructions by pressing F1. Okay. I still have that key. The only key I'm missing is F4 for some reason. Uh, uh, deduction, uh, deduction space icon appears each time you find a new clue. I see. Oh, I can continue now. Hold on, I'm reading the tips. Indicate some of your clues can form an important deduction and improve your progress in the investigation. Okay, okay. All right. Seems good. Or. Oh. Ignore Bubba. It's because I was eating earlier before this. <gasps> What's he doing? Mr. Sherlock. You crazy. What am I supposed to be looking at? The book? The swords? Mm -hmm. Oh. Taking cover behind the sofa. Got it. Holmes, will you stop that? Holy shit, he's gonna kill me! Bum, 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 bum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tackle! Tackle him! Take him down! Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? It's me! Yes, of course it is. And you almost Hold on, I'm blocking the subtitles. Oops. Oh god, it looked like he... He got shot in the, the head or something. Okay, sorry. Resuming. I don't want to block the subtitles. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. The vases. <laughs> Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. You have to echo locate. What is it? Confident step, clinking handcuffs, policeman. Makes sense. Inspector Lestrade. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is. And it's a good <laughs> one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Kidd. Good one, Mr. Holmes. Also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. Oh, no. A sailor, most probably. A sailor. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? Beat him! It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for oh. it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blind for oh, me, so that's that was pretty good. good. Can I have a try? No. Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. Mm -hmm. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black. Brainwork Peter. exercise! Whoa, whoa! Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Ah. Retired in 1884 with a small Oops, fortune. Sorry. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Uh, Has the retired, investigation okay. already begun? 
Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to What's so mysterious and... about it? Take your time <clears throat> and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. Medi Men. What have they done this time? They robbed oh, a power reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. What? I should have Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. Mm. I shall go alone then. Watson's busy. Press tab to open the case book and check your current progress. Okay, tasks. Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Sorry, Bubba's running around. In inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. Select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. Inspector Lestrade pays a visit to Baker Street where he relates to Holmes. The grotesque affair that involves a former captain known as Black Peter. What's all this other stuff? Whoa! Oh, is this fast travel? Okay. Evidence. Bye bye. I'm gonna put you in the shadow realm. No. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Bye bye. Hello. Sorry about that. Uh, Baba is so greedy. He already had chicken today, and he just wants like a. I don't even have anything. I don't even have any food here. He's just like, I, you were eating something earlier. I know you have something. Ugh, okay. Sorry, let me open the chat. There we go. The profile of the victim, Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845, and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia, retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. This is other stuff. Oh, dialogue, documents, souvenirs, echoes, uh, character portraits. Okay. Then I'm off to my wardrobe. I think I'll don a nice coat. Oh, is this my wardrobe? Maybe I have a walk-in closet. Oh, this is where I sleep? Oh, maybe this is where my wardrobe is. No, I guess not. E. E. Examine this letters. This is where I keep my post. Research. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Is this the bathroom? Oh, this is my room. Oh, the other one, of course, is like a servant room. My disguise! My disguise corner. Morning gown. A sailor outfit. <laughs> Unbuttoned suit. Casual suit. Black suit. Brown suit. Green suit. Gray suit. Light suit. Now where's the kimono? Banded outfit? I think I'll wear the sailor one because it looks cute. Although, I wonder if it'll be inappropriate. Oh, well, I just thought it... You know, I think actually it does make sense. I can't wear it! Dang it. Wait, can I wear it? The makeup options or the costumes you have currently equipped are not available at the moment and will be reset to default. Fine. Dang it. Alright, I guess we'll go casual. Or unbuttoned. No! Unbuttoned looks cool. Ugh, alright. You know, it'd be useful because I bet while I'm out, you know, questioning people, there will probably be... Probably be fellow sailors. And, you know, it's good to blend in. It'd be good to blend in. On oh, my hat. Wait, this is not the hat I want. Where is it? This is my hat, but it's not the right color. Glasses. Nah. Nah. Facial hair. 
I feel like you totally would be able to... Ew. <laughs> the soul patch. Eh, I like this type of beard. No, but it looks better clean shaven. Oh! Okay. I, now I can't tell which one looks better. Ooh, this looks fancy. Oh, long hair. Wait, where was it? Let's go emo. Emo Sherlock. Okay, it's somewhere here. Hold on. No... Is that it? Oh, no... I guess that's the one. Number four? Number five. Alright, that looks good. Yeah. No, they don't have a... I was gonna say, like, uh... Five o'clock shadow. Oh, the mustache. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't need a disguise right now, I think, so... I'll keep it pretty plain. Wait, what? Some makeup options. Which one? My hair? Ugh. Fine. Do I... I don't have any of the hats unlocked either. Alright. Well, this default hair isn't so bad either. What else is in here? What a cute fireplace. It's so small. So cozy. Do, 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 do. Okay, just check in and see if there's anything I could click on. I think I clicked on pretty much everything. Wait. Oh, shitty. Hello. Oh, what a mess. What a terrible mess. Uh, this is what you get paid for. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> my analysis table. It is uh, useful for my work. This is where I can make some Watson concoction. All right, we're fast traveling. Let's go. She's the landlord, not the maid. I know, I'm just messing around. She's doing it, though. She's so sweet. Oops. Was I supposed to look at... Oh, this is a chance to look at my book while traveling. I see it. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Over here. Come on. Join the Strahd at the Woodmanley's thingy. Alright, looking for some it clues. Seems that the garden was well maintained. Mm -hmm. Well maintained garden. Ooh, they even got pumpkins here. Can I walk through the oh no, I can only walk on the path, okay. What's in here? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Right. It seems that the garden was well maintained. This is cool. I like this little trough. <gasps> People to interview. What you got to say? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes. Like Snape. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce mm. you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. <laughs> Footsteps. <you>, <laughs> Anything unusual that night? When was the body found? Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Ah. Was there anything unusual? Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. <laughs> but I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. <laughs> is that like, like people say, Oh, I'm a sad drunk. Oh, I'm a sleepy drunk. I'm a mad drunk. I'm just... I just scream when I get drunk. Ah! Uh, evening before the murder. Was he drinking? Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. Ah. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Damn! This dude had issues. When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. 
But I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and open it. Right, we have to see the body. Did he have visitors? I would say, did he have a neighbor? Somebody who's jealous of his beautiful crops? Who didn't like him yelling in the middle of the night, right? They just like, shut this dude up. He's just yelling over here. Don't you guys ever have a noisy neighbor like that? Oh god. Wait. I'm the noisy neighbor sometimes. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Mm. No children? Whoa! Oh, we're looking at her... oh. Damn, this looks like she's got a filter on or something. A backward, D forward? What? Yeah, I was gonna say the necklace. Cameo? Whoa, whoa! Catholic rosary? Crested tit! Well, we just saw a tit a second ago. A gardening gloves? Oh! Maybe she's the gardener, huh? Nothing else. Birdhouse? <laughs> Everything will become easier. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. Yeah, it doesn't sound like she he had a... Uh... wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Q. What? I was pressing Q. Wait, what? Is this a quick time event? What happened? Pilgrimage, well-kept garden, profile of the victim. How do you know about Plymouth? The pilgrimage, well-kept garden, profile of the victim. Pilgrimage. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you uh. met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Oh. Thank you, madam. Yeah, because different rosaries can probably look different uh, depending on, like, the church and stuff. So that's true. If you're pretty knowledgeable about that sort of thing. Where's the body at? Oh, I can run. What the frick? I'm gonna jump scare in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at this game. Yeah. Alright, let me talk to this dude because I think they gotta open the door. Oh, it was down there, right? She was like, oh, I saw the door open, but I didn't want to peek in. It must be down here. I saw everything up there, right? I think so. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch it. Thank you. The door is locked. Peepot, really? Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Is the evidence going to ah, be tampered with? Good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. <laughs> Eh, it was the wife, wasn't it? He? Concentrate your attention, finding details and inclined to overlook. Scratches? Uh huh. These scratches are fresh. Hmm. Huh. You're right. Someone yeah. tried to force open the door. Isn't that like I a. Swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Or she. I mean, I guess if it was the wife, she would have had the key to open it, to be fair. Oh. Oh. What a terrible way to die. 
Dang. What is that? Is that like a cane? A spear? The end kind of makes it look like a cane or something. But maybe it's like... Oh, because he was... Uh, it's a spear for... They said he was uh, fishing whales and seals and stuff. So I guess that's what it is. A whaling spear. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody had a bone to pick with him. Harpoon. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Hmm. What's this? Rotate the object in any direction to the This wooden handle is plain and solid. It could have been a this fellow sailor. From the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Mm. Knife versus harpoon? Why'd you bring a knife to a harpoon fight? Or take the objects in any direction to examine it thoroughly. Sorry, just make sure. JHN are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. That's not this guy's name? Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime. But it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Mm. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Chips? Chipments? Mm. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Ah, uh, yeah, he wasn't, like, wearing his pajamas or, like, about to go to bed. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Picture. What's B? <sighs> Find a pair of related clues and they will form a deduction. Red color signifies an unachievable clue combination. Breaking attempts. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I see, I see. This is an easy way to find stuff. An ambush must be made tonight to see if a break in if the break in attempt will be repeated. Oh, oh so I guess they left the notebook was in here. here. Yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Alright, let me search the other parts. Examine. Open the chest. Free stuff! Old navigation instruments. Nothing interesting. Boots. Peter Carey's boots. They look to be a size 8. Oh, that'll be good. Maybe we can find footprints in the garden. Gardens can be pretty muddy after watering. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn. Sea Unicorn! Years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Oh, sea unicorn. Wait, I want to see this one. Sea unicorn? I thought maybe these would be the abbreviations for like different ships or something. But I don't see any for the sea unicorn. Table! Do, do, do. Someone drank from this glass recently. Wait, there's two cups! What the heck? Maybe it was somebody... He was expecting someone. The back of pouch. The initials P.C. have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Mm -hmm. Open! Hmm. Oh. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it... I must construct my associations in one picture. Okay, puzzle time! Wait, what am I doing? Rotating. Oh, I see. Oh. Reminds me of a ship. This is one of those thingies. I'm not gonna skip it. I can get it. It's a sailboat, isn't it? Wait, there we go. Wait. Wait, what the heck? There's stuff that should be connected. 
I never done one of these puzzles before. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Wait. I feel like I'm getting closer. There's lines that are disconnected. I don't have the right angle. I mean, the bottom of the boat lines up when I do it like this. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh. Oh, I can move this? What the heck? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'll move that. Tobacco leaf. Then where am I supposed to put this stuff? <coughs> Yawa. Hello. It's a mystery. Indeed, indeed. This thingy works. Uh, yeah, try this side, yeah. Oh, it's got a piece on it. What the heck? I think that'd be at the top then, I guess. Is that right? Right there. Right... There. Will it, like... Make a noise or something if I get it right? Wait, so the bottom is lined up. Uh-huh. There we go. Yay! Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. Ah. Cool. Do, 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 do. Rum, a sailor's drink. It yo, seemed ho, that Captain yo, Carey was ho. enjoying a drink before he met his death. With someone else though, right? Because why would he have two glasses? I guess fill both of them. Oh, what is that? It's like a... Sh oh, is that a... A shark mouth? Or maybe a whale mouth? <laughs> yeah, a glass for each hand. The tooth of a sperm whale. Probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. Oh. The tooth... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to press it again. T? Can I rotate something? Suspiciously empty space. Ah, oh, something's missing. It is suspiciously empty now that you mention it, game. I noticed that. What else have we? Hmm. The ship's log. I'm gonna inspect the body stuff again, cause the uh, I don't think I. To 1880. Yeah. Excuse me. The murder weapon was probably taken uh -huh. from this rack. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Okay, one more inspection. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Yeah, so I don't think it could have been the wife, because... It probably would have been a different type of struggle. Uh, I guess we looked at everything on the floor. What about the picture? We could look at the picture. I don't think it'll let me. But the picture looks interesting. Okay. Alright, I guess we... Got everything. Am I supposed to look closer? Stuff? The map. <laughs> the, yeah, the wife. Maybe she... I mean, she's... Uh, you know, she does some gardening. Hammerfest. She's pretty jacked. Hammerfest. Hammerfest. Dundee. Dundee. It's a whaling map. Yeah, the... That's where the whales move. In the... throughout the season. Okay. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. A and lot of clues that? left behind. Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. 
It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, mm -hmm. but they failed. What will we'll leave they a trap do? for them. Why return tonight when they will be better prepared? Aha! So what do you propose? Stake it out. We shall remain on the outside near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. I'm missing one clue. What the heck? Really? Uh, oh. Find a use. I see, so... Wait, what? Alright, let me look at the boots again. Wait, where'd they go? Ah, uh, okay, I'm missing footprints. I guess to compare the size. Something on the shelf. You guys are a bunch of backseaters. Mm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the years 18... Object of interest. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Da -da -da. Just double checking on this one. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. So if it's green, that means I got all of them, right? The tooth of a sperm whale. Oops. Problem. Okay. Yeah, so I guess it doesn't matter because hmm. it's not like I the can look at the. The Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Hey. Okay. Let me see something. What's this? Mm -hmm. In the country, somewhere near the ancient pine woods of Inverness and Strathby, Scotland. Oh, oh. <laughs> where the crested titbird can be found. Religious undertook St. James Way Pilgrimage, Cathedral Santiago de Compostela. Naruhada. Do 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 do. Uh huh. What are these little icons? It's just uh. Does that mean I can talk to somebody about it? And this one has a use, so it means I can. I'm carrying it with me to compare it. Like it's in my inventory. <laughs> I feel like I looked at everything in this room. Hmm. It doesn't let me zoom hmm. in on anything the here. Am I missing like a scratch or something? Scanning, scanning, scanning. Hmm? Oh well. Let me find... Where can I go? Can I go over here? Oh, I can go over here! Footprint, footprint. Oh, I can go all the way back here. Wow. Wow! Invisible walls! Can't see anything. Hoping to find a footprint. Hmm? Hmm. So many flies. There's so many bugs here. I guess they're just moths. Hold on, I really have to sneeze. Nope. Wait. Nope. It's gone now. Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn. I want to see the ship logs. To Peter Carey. I can't look at them closer because it just says object of interest. Mm 
Am I supposed to find the object that was on the shelf? Yeah, I'm gonna go back over here. It's okay, I'm not reading chat. You guys can back seat if you want. Oh, I can't go back here. Maybe she was having an affair with one of the fellow sailors. And he decided to stop by. And they had a scuffle. Garden. This is actually really nice. Big garden. Hello. Oops. Is there something over here? Broken barrels. Ooh. Oh god. I don't think there's any... Why are there bugs so big? Oh, I don't like the sound! A leaf. Okay. Hey. Let's chat. Is Peter Smoker? Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be. But he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Oh. Thank you, madam. Nothing else? Who could do such a thing? Yes, not. My poor husband. So they left their tobacco pouch behind? Is that what it is? Doo -doo -doo. So because there's an open space here, this means I missed a clue? Missed one. Uh... Okay. We need oh, well. to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carrie's cabin near the window. Okay. Back here. Behind the wall. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Now we fast tra time travel. Yeah, time travel. have to be now yeah, waiting for quite a while shh did you hear that you're the only one who said anything shut up uh -huh. someone young there. i'm gonna collar him i'll be right behind you police hold it right there Cap. I would it right there. Oh, we're gonna do a chase sequence. Oh, uh, hey, hey! All right, my fine fellow. Who are you, and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. Uh, you imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you, I'm innocent. That's exactly what somebody <laughs> would say. And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... Oh, I didn't... J -H -N. Are you denying that you came here yesterday? No, but... But I... Yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired uh... of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I need to I'm interview not... him! It's a terrible mistake! Enough! <laughs> you can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But, but in light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, 
I'm very grateful to you. He's Mr. not the Hodge. one who did it, though, right? You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Oh. Saying don't beat him up. The yard. The yard. There's a restaurant called Yard House. Does that sound that sounds pretty cool, right? A restaurant? Is it a restaurant? I'm just kidding. I know it's a prison. It's like you know, a yard. We're here in the in the police quarters. What you doing? This bench is mad, I'm telling you. It's got a fucking termite in it. I can feel it when I sit down. Jim, are you listening to me? He's losing it. Hi. What the? Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, the young man. Mm. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Oh, oh, on their helmet it says VR. Look, look. They're the VR police. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Let's walk right in. The belongings. These are the suspect's belongings. Ah, uh, so I guess he was holding this. He came back the for this. The that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. Uh -huh. These abbreviations mean something. But what? Maybe people that he's gonna kill? Maybe he's a serial killer. No, probably not. I don't think one would be caught that easily. From our bosun to my friend and partner. 1883. I see. And partner, 1883. Am I supposed to read the whole thing? Oh. From R. Dawson. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Mm, must check the archives. A handkerchief with the initials J. H. N. A shiny knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's ah. car. Okay. And it's an house in here. I wonder if the the guy that we picked up, maybe he was somebody who was, you know, like an underling to the sailor. Locked. Yeah, I want to try to go down here. Is this the morgue? Oh, okay. Can we check the body? I guess not yet, but we probably can, like, in other cases or something. Because, uh, apparently there's seven cases in this game. Morb. Okay, now we'll find out. Uh, let's talk about the ring first. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It, it has always belonged to me. Uh, Carrie's boots, profile of the victim, sharp knife, ring engraving, rings engraving. The ring's date of engraving is many mm -hmm. years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Uh -huh. Uh, notebook. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know... I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. Huh? What do these abbreviations mean? Didn't he pick it up? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. We already know. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Isn't that his name? Oh, the abbreviations, I see. I thought they meant the abbreviations on the outside of the notebook, like the initials. But yeah, the abbreviations. Okay, okay. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. And how did he know he was dead? Carrie. 
cap. Gotta be cap. Damn, get roasted. Uh, nothing to click on. Scanning, scanning. What about the buttons? Elaborate buttons. Blisters. Callus. Scars. Cuff. Short sleeves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that everything? I'm missing three. What is it? The pocket? I see. Wait, what? Oh, expensive fabric. I couldn't see it. Okay, missing two. Do, 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 do. Shoulder patch. Thin neck. <laughs> Fucking pencil neck. Ring's owner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Quick time event. Rings engraving. Profile the victim. Well kept garden father's jackets. Father's jacket? No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged to your the father. The ring is mine. Oh, my precious. But how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. Mm -hmm. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. His name is it like is Pelican. Quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy, you had to find yourself a manual job. And it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands mm -hmm. often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please, let me okay. go. I'm... Oh, I see. No gardener. Peter Carey, non-smoker. Break an attempt. Pin to the wall. Swift action. Peter Carey's arm with his knife, but he did not have time to use it. The murder acted quickly and instinctively. No gardener. Mm-hmm. What am I doing? Oh, I want to take I want to take the gardener thing out. Deselect. There we go. I didn't know it was selected. Okay. One more try. I was going for the book and then the uh, breaking attempts. Yeah, yeah. That's the obvious choice. Breaking attempts are made in order to recover the notebook that I've been like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's obvious. Is that it? Gotta be more. Oh, I'm supposed to. Wait, what the heck? Browse. Uh, okay. Uh. uh. Swift actions. Mm, murder acted quickly and instinctively. Mm. Yeah. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man could use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to... Hey, Watson! Prepare for harpoon throwing experiment. Whoa, whoa! Let's throw harpoon! Let's see here. We did. What did I not complete? Investigate murder, right? Inspect the crime scene. Does this mean I didn't complete it? Because I missed the clue. It says it's still here. Uh, Watson will be glad to help with preparations for harpoon throwing. Uh -huh. Search the archives. Uh -huh. You'll need to use for the boots. Okay. Watson. Oh, dog. 
Baba? A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. Uh. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. Mm -hmm. But if that is the case, then it alters many well. things. I don't quite follow you. Mm -hmm. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Monkey? Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? Ah. Uh? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, right. Pig! Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? Yeah, where are we going to get one? One of the one? Oh. on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. All right, okay, I'll go pick it up. Got it. Hello, doggy. Brave Toby. Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Aww. Every detective needs a dog. Can't be a detective without a dog. Toby. Bubba, Bubba, you're in this game. There we go. Check the archives. Institute of British Architects. Architect... Art, oh, Antique Art of British Museum. House of Parliament. Earlier in the... Edward that is not the one I need. That is not... That is not... That is... That is not... Okay, sorry. I didn't know I could go through them like this. Okay. Economic science. Technology... I thought I only ha I thought those were my only options. History, medicine. Huh? Snake oil, botany, botany. Uh, plant hormones. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have a clue for this? Not really, right? We don't even have the years of the books so that we would know. So, uh, instead we'll do the next best thing! Uh -huh. Gotta be here. That is not... Uh... I see encyclopedias. Oh, there's another arrow here. Okay. I see. Here we go. Dawson and Nelligan Investment Fund bankrupt. Nelligan missing. The Dawson Nelligan Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio. Has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and the bank in its bankruptcy was the second largest on record. Liquidation of the company is a pure catastrophe, catastrophe, cat catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Joshua Nelligan, one of the bankers, has since mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan is wanted both by the police and his creditors. <gasps> oh. Maybe it was the son uh, carrying out you know, some type of revenge or something for his father. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's Maybe story, something about debts. But I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. The sailor and their debts. Cool. Wait, what was that? Right. Do the butcher trip after we pick up a uh, thingy. Bye, Toby. Blues. 
No gardener. Non smoker, break an attempt into the wall. Checking. Good step. All right. Wait. Oh wait, I saw something. Like bloodhound. Am I supposed to rock, walk around this whole place? Am I gonna see something that glows? I didn't see it. Was it something back there? I'll find it. Do 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 It's like I kind of can't tell with like extras and stuff. Ah I see it. Land around stone pathway footprints. There we go. I'm standing on top of it. Wait. These boots don't match the footprints. They're bigger. These footprints appear to be quite large. Quite large indeed. Evidence required. Uh -huh. Is there anything else I missed around here? Do I have to re-examine the shelf like this with this? Outline the dust. This place is I not see. covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. Okay. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box or a small chest, perhaps. Ah, uh, something to store money, maybe. Okay, now we have everything. All right. Ah, I'll take one of these. That should Don't do mind it. if I do. Now I am ready for the experiment. Hold on, let me ask this lady another question. Hello. Hello, hello. You're just private papers. <laughs> Your husband's private papers. Private papers. <laughs> do you know where they are? There's private papers. Small tin box, barely larger than a book. He ah. kept his papers there. Small tin box. Be somewhere in his cabin. His papers? Thank maybe you, he had a... Oh, maybe he had a deed to something that they wanted to take. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Alright, to wait, let me check this again. There's a dialogue option here, but I don't think it's with the lady. It's probably Can I go back and interview that guy again? And I'll do that quickly before we go to our uh before we go to the uh thingy. <sighs> Missing tin box. All right, just checking, just double checking. Just double checking as well. Okay. To interview the. Oh, there's different people here now. And this guy's got 
Long arms and long neck. Mm -hmm. whip, whip. Excuse me. These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket. Can I look at a thing? These are breathing. All right, all right. Just double checking. Double checking the evidence. I thought maybe I could use that. Sight. Hey. Tell me. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan. Tell me about the bank. The West Country bankers. Yes. Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall. Whereupon, Joshua Nelligan disappeared. Uh -huh. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. Uh -huh. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. Uh -huh. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Uh -huh. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Maybe they're the same person. Maybe that's actually him. Maybe they swapped identities. <laughs> is there what anything am I else? Doing? Uh, okay. Two, uh, fast travel. Can I just do it from here? I guess so. Yep, yep. He, he stole his face. He stole his face. Oh, don't look. A lot of blood. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a... Let me throw it, let me throw it. A heavy harpoon. A little experiment. Don't you need, like, a good throwing Tennis form? Watson, like, uh, javelin? I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. First try. You should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Okay, hold breath, aim. Um, what am I supposed to do? Press it again? Wait, press space? What? Throw, oh, okay. Holmes, you should try to aim. Shut up! Okay, there's a bit of a curve for it. Okay. A little bit closer this time. Oh, almost got it. A little too high. Oh, just a little too high. I'm like aiming to compensate, but I guess I don't have to. Okay. Did I get it? That's on the X. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical, diabolical luck. luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose Someone I'll have to pay for all right? these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Of course. Is he paying out of his own wallet? All right. Time to connect some dots. Uh, some of the facts may be interpreted differently. You can always change the picture of a crime by choosing between mutual exclusive deductions. Okay. It requires much greater strength than that than the average man to be able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through to the wall. A degree of skill would most likely be necessary. Two men in cooperation might achieve the same result. There's a remote possibility that an unskilled, untrained man could manage to pin Peter Carey to wall with a harpoon. With a lucky throw. Oh, oops. Wait, what? Was I supposed to click something? I didn't know I was supposed to click it. Okay, this is what we're going with, I guess. I see. 
that help come come up with the outcome or something? Uh, okay, I don't think any of these go together. No. We still need more clues. Okay. Am I supposed to connect something in there? Or I don't know if I'm using that mechanic correctly. Okay, I'll let my eyes itchy. Uh. Alright, let me check my evidence. Rescue the murder. You shall see what is his role. Ship logs might be might put some light. Okay, we're going for the ship logs. Yay, now I can read them. Let me open this thingy again. See if I'm supposed to collect connect. Connect. No connection. I thought maybe I'd have to like drag a line like Okay. <laughs> Do I just have a carriage like at my disposal at all times? It's kind of useful. Just before cars. Alright, sorry. We're going to the ship logs. Wow, the ship logs? Reminds me of Outer Wilds. 1883. That's the one I need. This is the crew list of the CU. Crew Corps. list. Maybe we'll see some familiar, some familiar thingies here. Um, what's what I'm looking for? Uh, okay, Peter Carey, Master Charles, Allison, first mate Henry Joy, second mate James Lancaster, Helmsman Patrick Cairns, Harpooner Pablo Carbonaro, Harpooner Nedland, Harpooner. This is the crew. All right. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. Names? No, no, no. I was saying, uh... Hold on, my brain is blanking. What the heck? The, uh... Abbreviations. Yeah, yeah. Thursday, June 8th. Light breeze through the day. Saw a whale tail alongside and southeast. Just that night, two more ships in sight. Mm-hmm. Wednesday, June 14th, moderate wind from the east. Saw no whales today. Monday, June 19th, light and variable wind through the day. Saw other whaling ships far away to the north. Saturday, June 24th, strong wind from south. Well, from the south, we'll go to the north. One year ago, there were a lot of whales. Log notes for July. Nothing special. Log notes for August. Oh, somebody These ripped out a page. What is this? Canadian Pacific Railway. Canadian Pacific Railway. CPR. Oh. A torn piece from a bond certificate. A bond! I have seen this abbreviation somewhere very recently. There are three Gee, ways I wonder of where. discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses, witnesses! The sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign. Yeah, there was like a storm that happened, apparently. According to the log. Alright. He's a stock... Yeah, so we'll compare this with the other thingy. Uh, we'll ask this guy about it. Wait, what is this little icon? Find a use. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll find the other... Ripped page or something. Uh, okay. Okay! Wiggins. Let's travel. Uh, let's go ask this guy about this thing. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Clues. Nothing new. Eh. All right. Not yet. Wow. Oh, it's pretty busy in here. Just throw up. Oh. Do, 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 do. These are the suspects, but I wonder if these are connected. Ah. 
<laughs> now we have the proof that Yay. Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. Ah. Uh. Hello. Oh, a new thingy. I see. Whatever that thingy shows up. Okay. Uh huh. Missing, missing papers. <laughs> stolen valuable papers. Valuable bond certificates are kept inside the stolen tin box. Elegant's motive. John Elegant could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Mm. This possible. All right, now to question the suspect. Come here. Just give him a light slap, you know. Oh, oops. Sorry to do this. All right. Once more. Break it. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I, I was trying to find some information about my father. Eh... Uh, not the quick time event! Trying to find information. Ring engraving, bond certificate, father's jacket, sharp knife, tobacco pouch. Bond certificate, I guess? Yeah. I assume you had another purpose. To retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I, I spent months trying to find them. And at last, I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. Uh -huh. These papers, they belong to my family. But I could not find them there. Uh -huh. Well, I will see He's you lying. soon, young man. Uh -huh. Task for Wiggins. Wiggins, don't go. Hold on, I wanted to see... ...something... Uh-huh. Okay. Just double check in. Is Wiggins, uh... Here, or... Is Wiggins... Can I go this way? Oh, there's a guy over there. Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Locked. Wiggins. Okay, just double checking. Maybe there was a body in the morgue. But they haven't brought it out yet. That makes sense. Nothing new. Right. Well, we're still missing papers here. Ah. Oh. Retrieving the notebook. The break-in attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of the person who made these attempts. Looking for papers. Elgin was looking for his father's papers inside Black Peter's cabin. Explains his presence at the scene of the murder. Yeah. Whoa! Nelligan's motive. John Nelligan could have been caught stealing the bond certificates. This might have been a motive for him to murder Peter Carey. Nelligan's innocence. John Nelligan is a victim of circumstance. He does not fit the portrait of the murder. murderer, either by physical or psychological description. Alright, so I guess I have a choice. Just like in a L.A. Noir. The double brain cell. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We're already traveling. Oops. Something new, Watson. Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. What? I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Whoa! I oh, mean young Wiggins and his gang. Wiggins! Yes. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little urchins <laughs> than urchins. from a dozen yard detectives. Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. 
How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Oh. He'll be out of the way. I'm calling Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Finally, my time has come. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Mr. Wiggins, Holmes. I need you to track down certain people for me. I'll give you a list. You can read, can't you? Big Oliver from our gang. He can, as his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Oh, that's nice. Here Giving them a job, you know? Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. All right. Easy, he says. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Okay. Find the crew of sea urchin completed. Switch. Watson. Enjoying some tea and cake. Oh, bread. Hmm. I don't think you can eat any of that bread, Watson. What should we do next, Holmes? What should we do next? Toby's legs are so short. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Uh. All right, to uh, the Scotland Yard. And... Nothing new with the clues. I already tried putting this together. <laughs> the fact that there's no gardener. A little sussy. <laughs> Alright. That's in! Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always. What mm. happened? We have a new suspect. Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking Ooh. that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Know. We'll see. Great tell. Yeah. Well, we'll see. the constable Great that tell. I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. What are they going to do to him? Oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Mm. Of course. Let me see. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you. Huh? I you think it'll be taken. unrelated, right? It won't be the suspect at all. A oh, boots? These are the suspect's belongings. Boots, boots. Liam Hurtley's old boots. <gasps> They're a size nine. Wait and a, a second. Half. That might fit. The stained, the stained letter. Are fresh. They can be removed with the proper chemicals. Gotta go home and use the chemical set. The pen. Nothing unusual about it. That's it then. That's it then. Before I question the suspect, I think I'll just rather go and do the other stuff first. I don't know. Uh, maybe the dialogue options will change though. Is he in here? This guy's not in here. What's this? Oh. We got torture weapons in here, look. Or wait. Right there. Oh, hey. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Mm hmm Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Cool coat! He's I got a cool coat. I would like to ask you a few questions. I've already told the police that I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. And you're not even part of the police. Precisely. And considering your situation, it might suit be I put wise on? to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are? And exactly what happened that you should be brought here? Yeah, don't you have a case My that you're innocent? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you. But you're not getting any more than Smart. that. Smart. Well, we shall see. Even if you... Even if you're innocent... 
and you give them details that could possibly put you, you know, at the scene of the crime, you could still be... You could still be punished, even if you're innocent. All right, let's take a look. Only looking for four things here. The coat should definitely be one of them, right? Scar on his neck. Fancy coat. Oh, a handkerchief. Uh -uh, uh -uh. The hat? What about the hat? Nothing? What am I missing? Pants. Gardener. Oh, it was an affair! It was totally an affair. Planned remains. <gasps> That's what I knew doing. it! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! I knew it. Alright. Let's go home first. Here, now we have the clues for the gardener thing. Okay, not yet, because it's not direct evidence. We'll get it after this. Time to mix some stuff. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable Chemicals. of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. I'm here one more time. First condition. Yeah, yeah. All, all of them seven should be used. Should be used. Uh huh. Second but they just condition. have to be used in order, right? Orange reagent should be the third okay. one in the sequence. Oh, after. After the blue reagent. Third condition. Colorless reagent should okay, be Okay, so we could just do blue on one, reagent. orange on four, clear on five. Oh, but there's two blues. All of them have to be used. I see. Okay, wait. Put it back. Okay, so I'll do blue, blue. I see. So then should it... No. Can't be pushed back. The first orange has to be used three spaces after the last blue. So would it be green, clear? Green, clear. Well, it doesn't say it has to be both blues at once. So it could be... Wait, wait, wait. I think I messed it up. All right, I'll do blue, clear, and I'll put another blue. Cause it doesn't say it have it had to be three after the last. Does it have to be after the last blue or the first blue? Oh well, I'm gonna test it. Three. This is third space, right? Third space after the blue. There's two in between. Okay, clear. Clear! I failed, what? No. Uh -huh. No, something isn't <gasps> right. I need to start <gasps> the reaction from the beginning again. All right, all right. I'm not gonna look at chat, I wanna solve it. Chat, hit it. Do, do, do. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Mm -hmm. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after... Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Do 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 And then orange and then clear. Right? What? Eh? What the heck?
Okay, okay, I'll try again. Alright, blue. Green. Blue. Blue. Uh -huh. Orange. Orange. Clear, clear. Oh, I see. Whoa. I see. Clear has to be used directly after the orange. That's where it keeps messing up. Okay, okay, I get it. I mean, I think I had it right up until then. What did I do? Uh, blue. <laughs> blue. Green. Isn't it fine if I add a clear first? Oh no, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll just do blue again. And then orange. And then clear. Do, 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 do. Clear. And then orange. And then clear. <laughs> yeah. Done. Yay! Now I can proceed further. Uh -huh. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little Scrubbing light time. on the mystery. <laughs> oh, it's like those uh, squidgy videos. I like watching those. Oh, this one won't come off. Is this stuff going getting lighter or is it all in my head? <laughs> I did as you asked and okay. hid them well. Oh. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? Uh, I did as you asked and hid them well, but I beg you to reconsider. I swear and remember our vows. I've done nothing dishonorable. <gasps> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. It wasn't a fair this whole time. Hold on, I gotta refresh the chat. Chat crashed. Okay. Let's get this. Alright, we have a new suspect. Alright. What now? Okay, we'll ask him about it. Or, uh... Yeah, we'll ask him about it. Next, we go to... Back to match the footprints. Not. I need the footprints. I think we'll match with the gardener then. Footprint. Here I come. Do, 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 do. Aha. These boots match the footprints exactly. Mm hmm. Now I can connect it. Yes. Uh, Liam Hurtley's boots match the footprints at Woodman's Lee, thus proving that he was there. Judith Carey denies that he was their gardener. They're both in on it. Okay. Let me see. I probably can't even ask her questions, but we'll see. We'll see. Excuse me, ma'am, madam, madam. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone oh, by that name. She's lying. Thank you, madam. All right, back to the interrogation. You're lagging. Eh, was it a teapot? Wee! <laughs> 
Yeah, did you see how she looked all to the side? Like, what? Please escort this suspect. I see, so I, I can pick who I want to interrogate. Cool. It's very small teapot. Well, I'm glad it's over. Woodman's Leap. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. Wasn't he picked up there outside? Oh shit, I almost missed the quick time of stretching. <laughs> Back of couch, boots don't match, well kept guard, and Hurtley boots match. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested you back. perfectly no. match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? <laughs> That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. It doesn't make me a murderer. Why did you hide? What did you hide? So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? The papers. Hide? What are you talking about? <laughs> well kept garden tobacco patch the letter. I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. <laughs> well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? Mm, oh, right, because he's hiding that he was a gardener. Uh -huh. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Gee, I wonder. The gardener. Garden. The garden, you guys. You know what I mean? Oh, shoot. Oh, that was the first one I got wrong. It's like the same answer. Now that your presence at oh, my goodness. All right. proven, would you care to explain it? It's the same answer. I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Gardener. Because you are the gardener got... at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. Uh -huh. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A tit. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, I can recognize all right, that tit me. anywhere. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads. But now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept uh... at Woodman's Lee. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. All right, back to that place. Woodman's Lee. It already knew. It's like, nope, that's not gonna work. I mean, don't even try it. I was just checking. Maybe he took out the tobacco to try to stage something, you know? Maybe that's what it was. Okay, the guard and tools. I know where they are. Aren't they back here? Somewhere? No? No guard and tools. Can't tell if there's dogs barking in the background of this game or if it's Bubba. Ah, here we go. Locked. Give me the key, madame. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Yeah, because she knows that it's hidden, but she doesn't Thank know that you, he knows that the actual tools are hidden. Uh -huh. Let's see what could be hidden here. Ill-fitting plank. 
Aha. What do they think we are, huh? It's too easy. Oh, I knew it was the papers. All the loot. Free loot. Let us see what is in this box. Oh, what the heck is this? Wait, what? It, des it described it for a second, but then the, the thing disappeared. Okay, I'm gonna connect stuff and stuff. I didn't I couldn't see the instructions. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't need the instructions. Bunch of letters. Yeah, yeah, I love looking through people's stuff. A woman's hand. With the Carey family monogram. Oh. And Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is oh, interesting. Oh, I called it! Leah, my dear, I've been so... You've been so good to me all the time that I've known you. I cannot describe these feelings, but I suppose that they are sinful and no good can come from them. I fear what might happen. I fear going against God. I thank you for your care, but I cannot leave the man with whom I have been bound by God. It is his divine will, and thus my husband... Is a cross that I must bear. He makes my living life hell, but bruises fade, and you must not worry for me. Mm. I do have that. So maybe he killed him for her. And she's trying to hide what happened. The affair ended, but you know, maybe he didn't want it to end. Madam, I am aware of your affinity. With Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Affinity. Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. Uh -huh. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Wait, so... Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... After what he has done. What do you do? You believe that he killed your husband? Oh. No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Uh. Well, uh... Oops, we made her cry. Why is it hidden in this box? Isn't this the box that was inside of the killed husband's thing? He wouldn't have their romantic correspondence, right? Because then he would have been the one who killed the other guy instead. He'd probably be angry like, my wife! Maybe, uh... Maybe the guy was hired to steal the papers and he ended up taking the box. Maybe he was just there undercover, you know, in the first place. Just trying to get some information. <laughs> yeah. It might be a different box. The box is wooden, this one is metal. Huh? Different box? Okay. Alright. Okay, yeah, they said tin. That's that is true. She did say tin box. A tin box. Okay. To the uh Right, we're gonna question someone, right? Yeah. Question the romantic correspondence. And I have some thingies to connect. Is Carrie's letter? Is Carrie's confession? Very not spoken. Uh Hey. Desperate jealousy. Liam Hartley loved Judith Carey so desperately that his jealousy could have provoked him into committing murder. Perhaps. Hartley's motive. Liam Hartley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. It is true. It does place him at the scene. Mm hmm. Wait, let me look at the clues again. Okay, too late. Too late! I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. 
Wiggins, right. Right, and we'll go, we'll do that at home. First, let me question this guy about the letter. I'm... I can't question what him about the letter? Doing? Okay, my bad. Wiggins! Oh, Wiggins! Wait, I can connect maybe some other clue. I almost flirting. It has been confirmed that Liam Hurley was flirting with Peter Carey's wife and he even fell in love, but didn't go beyond the affectionate but harmless letters and words. Liam Hurley loved Judith Carey so desperately that jealousy could have provoked him committing murder. Well, we'll just put harmless for now since we're we still have to look at the uh oh. Hurley's motive. Liam Hurley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him more motive. Gives him a motive for killing Peter Carey. Hurley's presence at Woodman's Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection towards Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. Hmm, I guess we'll just put it like this for now, because we're gonna meet some new people that might be the answer to this problem. Ta -da! Oh wait, wrong place, wrong place. Ta -da! Don't pay attention to anything I click the game. We're already in the way. I just my brain was like, oh, we're gonna go here. Uh oh, I broke it. I broke it, I broke it, I broke it! Uh, uh. Yeah. I think it's it. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Ooh. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. You patted sailor, James Lighthouse like Townsend. This is interesting. Let us review he died the a week ago. Oh. Uh, okay. Harpooner. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are PC. The same initials uh -huh. that were found on the tobacco pouch. Yeah, no. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Kens. Sometime later. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? Time traveled. He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub. Ooh, where that he sounds does cool. Arm for money and drinks. Sea Witch Pub. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Nice. Gotta support the, you know, local community and stuff. She's there. She's still watching me. What do you want? Watson, Watson, there's a lady across who's watching us. What should we do next, Holmes? Her bosom out. All right, next we'll go to, uh... Well, we can't go to the pub. Uh, 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 connected. If the pouch belongs to Patrick Kearns, it indicates his presence at the crime scene, but it still must be proven. If I wish to speak to Cairns without Cairns. alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Oh, yes. Yes, we've unlocked the sailor uniform. I knew it. I'm gonna be a sailor. Although I think it's this way. Yes. Make up table. What does a sailor wear? Fluffy hair. Are these all unlocked now? Now I could be whatever. They're unlocked. Uh, this is a sailor hat, right? Looks like one. No glasses. Facial hair. Ugh. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with this one. <laughs> Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Yeah. To the pub! Wait, what's this? Uh -huh. yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say I forgot to change my hair. What the heck? Oh. Ooh, some fish stew? Ew, what the heck? I love looking at NPCs. They're so funny. Oh, is this him? I thought he was not wearing shoes for a second. 
Alright, hold on. Let me look around a little bit. God, this place is disgusting. Anything of interest around besides the person we'll be talking to? Alright. Woo, he's got an earring! Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? <laughs> We've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. Excellent. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm Oh, we're gonna it. arm wrestle! I start at ten shillings. Suits me. Okay. Oh god, it's a mini game. Wait, wait, wait. Follow Patrick Karen's facial expressions. Understand his moves. Push restraint. Idle and plan your counter strategy. Pay attention to your stamina. Okay. Push to push. Hold to restrain. Okay. I'm restraining, I'm restraining. I'm holding. I'm holding. My stamina! Okay. Hold. Switching. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. I'm restraining, I'm restraining, I'm restraining. Oh, I see. When he looks like he's having trouble, then I push. Oh, frick. He looks like he thinks he's gonna win. Okay, he looks like he's in pain. Push! Push, 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 push. My stamina! Shit, I lost money. <laughs> Raging! That's the arm that killed a hundred I think it was impossible to win. See, look! You just said the arm that killed... A bunch of whales. Let's continue. One more. I'm ready to try again. You know we what we don't right. give up. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Okay, we're paying attention to the facial expression. Got it. Idle. How do you go idle? Oh, okay, I see. I wasn't going idle at all. Okay, holding. Push. Push, push, restrain, push, restrain. Oh god, oh god, what's happening with the cameras? I don't push, 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 push. Oh, I have to click. I didn't know I had to click a lot. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't. I push. I don't. Restrain. Push, push. My stamina. Okay, I'm holding. I can't see the arms. I don't like that it zoomed in so much. I think I lost. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll try one more. One more. I can win! I'm ready to try again. Okay. Okay, idle. Mm. Restrain! Idle. Shit. Restrain! Okay, hold. Regen. Restrain! Okay, I don't... Push! Wait, I'm restrained. The expressions are kind of confusing. Okay, now he's trying really hard. So when he tries really hard, then I restrain. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, we're straight. Wait. I don't. We're straight. Okay, push. Oh, we're straight. I'm out. I'm out. Let me regen. Wait. Strain. Okay, we're strained. Now push. No. No. Push. I don't have enough. Come on. Oh. Bar. I think he needs to develop a full bar before I can push him. Okay, I'm restraining. Restraining. Okay, regen. Now. Push! Push, 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 push! Yes, 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 yes! Ah! Okay, restrain, restrain. Restrain! Okay. Regening. Push, 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 Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Okay, I'll save it. Okay, no, 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 all right, all right, all right. Let me regen. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Okay, restrain. Push, 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 Wait, restrain. Push, 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 wait, restrain. Oh! I can win, can I? Stop! Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll wait until... Okay, strain. Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, regen. More strain. Regen. Push, 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 come on. Push, 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 Train. Okay. Regen. Push, 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 no, hold. You can't hold. You have to click. See if it doesn't work if I hold. You have to click. I think. I think it's like impossible. 
Well, I try to restrain when he does the expression. But I guess if he looks like he's in pain, that's when I'm supposed to do the push. <coughs> Is he idle right now? I can't tell. Okay, now he's idle. Okay, hope we're straining on his... Okay, he's... It's kind of hard to tell. Okay, now he's idle. Oh, shoot. Okay, now restrain. He's restraining right now. And now he's idle. Is he idle? I can't tell. Okay, restraining. He's pushing. Restraining. All right, now push. Push, push, push. Wait. Restrain, restrain. Restrain, idle. Restrain. Push, restrain, restrain, restrain. Push, 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 push. Shoot. Restrain. Okay, the expressions are kind of confusing. I don't know. Okay, restrain. Okay, now he's restraining. Now he's idle. Push, 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 push. Restrain. He's pushing. He's pushing. Now he's idle. Push, 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 push. Now he's idle. Okay, now I gotta regen. Now he's restraining. Okay, now he's idle. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Push, restrain. Push, 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 push. Oh, it's so close. Okay, restrain, restrain. Regen, 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 and push, 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 wait, restrain. Regen. Push, 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 Oh, he's restraining. He's pushing. He's pushing. Okay. Wait. Restrain. Push. 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 He's restraining. Push, 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 push. Hold. Okay, regen. Hold. Okay. And... Wait till he pushes again, and I'll go. Okay, restrain. Push, 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 push. Restrain. What is he doing? What is he doing? Restrain. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Restrain. Idle. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Push, push, push. Shoot. Restrain. Okay, I'm getting there slowly but surely. Restrain. 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 Push, 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 push. Restrain. Push, 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 push. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push. Oh, restrain, restrain. Push, push. Wait, restrain. Uh, regen. Oh, restrain. Okay. Push, 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 push. Oh, almost. Wait, restrain. Restrain. Okay, regen, regen, regen. Okay, push, push. Wait, he's restraining. Push, wait. He's pushing. Restrain. Push, 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 Wait. Now he's idle. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Push, push, push. I can't tell if he's idle or not. Okay, restrain. Okay, restrain. Push, 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 push,
Push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, push, Restrain. Idle. Okay, is he idle? <gasps> He's restraining. Here we go, we got it this time. Restrain. Push, wait, restrain. Push, wait, restrain. I'm doing it at the wrong time, I think. Ah, oh, it's so close, come on, yes! Yeah! Double or nothing, baby. You were lucky. Uh... focused. Let's go again. No. I quit. <laughs> oh, you've had enough. You're too strong. What do you mean I won? Come back later when you can use your arms again. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so sad. All right, well, did I get anything new from that? Am I supposed to beat him like twice? I need to beat him twice? Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's continue. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want... Alright, now I get how it works. Alright. Push, push, push. Restrain. Restrain. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Regen. Push, 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 push. Restrain. Restrain. Push, 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 push. Regen. Restrain. Regen. Restrain. 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 Push, 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 push. Wait, he's restraining. Oh, push. Oh, restrain, restrain. Okay. I don't, 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 I don't. Restrain. Regen. Push, 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 push. Okay, restrain. 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 Okay. Regen. He's restraining. Alright, here we go. Full one. Wait until he idles. Here we go. Restrain. Okay, he's restraining. Oh, restrain, restrain. Here we go. We got it. 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 Come on. All right. Almost there. Oh, shoot. All right. Let me regen. He's pushing. Push, push, push. Wait. Restrain. 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 Push, 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 push. Wait. Restrain. Push, 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 Here's your ten shillings. Oh, whoa. We'd like to buy you a drink. Oh. A winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. Let's have a drink. Oh. <laughs> what the you're hell? You're a good type. What does that sound? Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Uh-huh. Oh, well. At least you're not yeah. as poor as me. Aw. No job? Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. Ah. Uh, what's a harpooner like? Yeah. A harpooner? Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. 
Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Old Wallace, oh. damn Black Peter, Great Roger, we sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Damned Black Peter. Uh. Black Peter, you say? We've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, a violent too, swigging those fists of his around. He's a tyrant, and not much of a captain. Oh, now he gets some not character. Not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Oh? Another drink? Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. Oh, here we go. In August of that year, Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. Uh... And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. Huh. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. That guy! The must have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. Who was he? And who was he? <laughs> I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage. It's just a tin box. Oh! That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course... He threw him off board! Ask Black Peter about it. You know, don't you? What you happened? You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Uh -huh. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. And those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Uh-huh. Of course. <laughs> all right. Later. Here we go. The earring! Oh yeah, I gotta use WASD for this. Act here. Sailors look cool. Tattoo. Pants. Yellow nails. Does that mean he's got like a uh, scurvy or like jaundice or something? Strong hands. Muscly. Oh, cheap clothes. Plant pouch. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Plant pouch. Here it is. They'll never know. Okay. His yellow fingers indicate... Ah, oh, right, because they... Yeah, the tobacco stains the fingers. That's true. All right, I'm back. I totally left. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's, What's this? this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, um... Oh! oh it is. Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. Pequod, what a cute name! Harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe, if you like, I... I'm done here. It's time to leave. So he was hired by the sun to get back the papers. I'll think. Pouch proves guilt. Karen's confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder and thus proves his guilt. Karen's confirmed that the pouch belongs to him. This means that he was at the scene of the murder but does not necessarily prove that he's a murderer. Eh. Well. I'll put this for now. But. Mm. Alright, so I guess all that's left is to piece together the clues, right? 
have found and utilize all clues in the case. Please proceed to deduction space to form your conclusion. Uh... Right in chat. I'm gonna. I'm thinking. both be true? Wait, is it just red because it's incompatible? Or is it red... Ah. I see. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. Karen's is guilty. Uh. That's the conclusion it comes to. different ways to connect the dots. Eh? Let's see conclusions. I see. So there's... I see. So the different outcome. Okay. And I will change this. I can't change it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we'll say it was a lucky throw. And, uh... Have been caught stealing. This might have been a motive for him to murder. Yeah, put that one. Are you gonna attempt to to recover? I was like, a motive for murder. Uh huh. Is there only one conclusion or? I thought it might be like maybe this guy hired this guy to get kill the other guy and get his things back or something. But because there are two glasses, they could have he could have been friendly with uh you know Peter this guy. Karen's could have been friendly with him and maybe they were having a drink because they have a reason to know each other. So maybe they were reminiscing, maybe they got in a fight or I don't know. I don't know how why this guy was there. How did he know to show up? Mm. He obviously was there before. That was his notebook, right? Yeah, it's his notebook. So he was there at the time of the killing, I guess. Maybe asking him where he could find some things. 
And this guy was just hired. Notebook was after the death note because... I mean, yeah, it could have been after because the door was locked and there was time for the thing to get in or people to get in. That's true. But why would he, he... How would he know to show up, like, at that time? To look for the papers and stuff, you know? You have to be connected! More clues are needed, but there's nothing else, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if we could, like, take this guy as a suspect... That'd be nice. Care to lose another team? Alright, let me try going here and... ...talking to somebody. These are all the clues. All right, all right. Okay. Uh... I thought that these answers that I put together might lead to, like, some sort of dot that would... ...like, put them together. But I think because when you hover over this one... ...they can't both be true at once. There's that one. Uh-huh. Okay, so now... We swap this, and we swap this, and then we do this. Now we have that one. So are those all of them? Those are all the conclusions. Hartley's guilty. There's not another one. I can't make another one. I thought maybe I would be able to connect, like, two of the people separately. There is one more? Uh, I thought I would have already gotten the combination for it. Alright, let's see. Feet of strength. Alright. Maybe it was this one, I forgot. Uh... There it is. No. Uh, isn't that it? Mm. There's only three. There's another. Yeah, I want I want a conclusion where you accuse both of them. But I don't know how to get it. Mm. Only one is guilty? You can only do one conclusion right now? Alright, then I guess. Ultimately, he's probably the one that... ...did the kill. Right? Hmm? Yeah, he doesn't really have a motive. His motive is this guy, like, hiring him. Because he's the son of the guy that got killed. Alright, I guess I'll do this guy first, because he probably hired the other guy, so... Eh. Really? This guy seems most likely to you guys? Mm. 
then how did these guys show up at the scene? I mean, this guy could have been because he's friends with the guy that got killed, but how did this guy know where to find his papers? He must have talked with the other guy, with this guy at some point. They've been in communication because how else would he know that the guy's dead? And to go. Mm. Alright, hold on. Let me see something. I'm not safe. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Alright, just double checking. I'll just go over some things quickly. Professional harpooner. Uh -huh. Look at his eyes. Oh my god. Rick <laughs> is trying to conceal the murder. John Nilligan's father. Did you guys tell the story of how he was a repeater carry the man over board? The man had been saved from the sea on the previous night. And was obviously Josh Nelligan. Antic correspondent. He hid something in the spot in the garden shows a camp. Uh-huh. Boots match. I mean, that'd be normal to find his boots there, though. Right? Because he's the gardener. Ranger arrested by police, a former soldier left in the military, being on a list of quiet life, working as a gardener. I mean, I guess it is possible it could have been him. But there's too many coincidences with the papers and stuff to... To make that not be the motive. Because even if the gardener did kill him... I mean, the gardener could have set it up, like he told all these people. I mean, the gardener could be the mastermind behind it, maybe... I, I feel like he wouldn't know, though. I feel like he wouldn't know... All of that stuff. Yeah. Number of bond certificates, which Nilligan's father disappeared or in. Wait. Number of bond certificates. With which Nilligan's father disappeared were in Peter Carey's cabin. Correct. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, hold on, I want to check something. Let me see something really quick. Do 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 do. Eh, uh, I thought maybe we could talk to that kid. Ah, I knew it was her. Can I name her as a suspect? All right. Uh, just going over some stuff again. Uh huh. Oh, can, can we see the size of the... No, it doesn't matter. The boot print already matches. Uh-huh. Um, um. uh A sharp knife. Hmm. Mm. 
this ring? How does the sun have this ring in the first place? I guess... Because wouldn't... Isn't this something that, like, the... Maybe the dad left it behind. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, well... Uh... Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna accuse this guy. I'm pulling the trigger. He must have hired the guy. I'm overthinking it. Okay, so I'm just looking for the murderer. But they're both... They're both guilty. He's poor. He could have promised bonds or something. But then again... Eh... All right, whatever. I'll pull the trigger then. I see. Peter's a Karen's a Peter's a Karen. Patrick's cold blooded murderer. He's been found guilty of the murder of Peter Karen. He must be punished. Peter Karen's killed Karen, but the murder was not permitted. It was self defense. It's an armored and irrational drunken sailor. Okay, let me see the other one then. Hopefully Nelligan has been found guilty in the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by the law for his death. As a victim of circumstances, childhood is overshadowed by the loss of his father. He's always dreamed of reunion. To find out what had happened, he made a poor decision and so fell into trouble. Hmm? Urgh. I want to read the other one. For this guy. Marley has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey. Must be punished by the law and endless rigor. He was clouded by his love for drinking. He was fired from murder of passion under emotional arrest. Or else he must answer to the law for what he's done. Okay, okay, okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna pick the... I'm gonna pick this guy. Your moral choice? I can condemn more than one people. Really? Well, I picked... I said that this guy is guilty because first... Um, he's got a motive. Obviously, there's... It's hard for him to find a job. He knew that... Uh, Black Peter had thrown that guy overboard. And that he took his tin. And maybe he had visited and he knew that the tin was still there and that it contained something valuable. And he knew that Black Peter was able, able to retire. And, you know, maybe he also wanted to do that. So he knew that the bonds were valuable and that Black Peter still had them after visiting. Uh, as for why... the other guy was there, maybe this guy... approached him somehow. I just, I can't figure out why the other guy was there unless these two had met. Was not premediated. Med meditated. Not premeditated. Um... I was his patch there. Maybe he was just visiting and he left it there. 
I don't really know how the accusation thing works, so I don't know. You guys are saying I can pick multiple people, so I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Good afternoon. I must be at the wrong address. I'd like to speak with a ship's captain, a Captain Ahab. Is that you? No. My name is Sherlock Holmes. That detective fella. So, you wanted to see me? He looks he looks that nervous. Is correct. We need to talk. About what? I don't know how it works. About Black Peter, who was killed in his own hut with a harpoon. <laughs> the no, textures. Don't ya? <gasps> yes. How? The tobacco pouch. You recognized it. Oh, the sailor. Oh. It was you. Unbelievable. Well, fine. I confess. But if you really do know everything, you should also know that I didn't want to kill him. He made me do it. Oh. I know. Oh. Did you know about this story with the bond certificates? Uh -huh. Did you need money? Yeah. I knew it! I just wanted him to cough up a little silver. I'm out of work, and I thought maybe he could help me. Well, he refused outright, and he insulted me. Oh, uh... right. I knew all about that murder he committed at sea in 1883. Ah. Uh... Then he got mad when I spoke about his treasure. Mm -hmm. I barely just had time to throw the harpoon at him before he could jump at me with his knife. You know the truth? What will you do now? I ask that you return the bond certificates. Uh -huh. Keep some of them. You will need them in your exile. It is better that you leave the country for a few years. Well, he's just telling him to leave? And you won't what say about justice? To the police? I will not say anything as long as you return the money. Well, I'll do as you ask. But what about Inspector Lestrade? I will deal with him. Goodbye. Eh. Uh... It's good that you asked me to come, Mr. Holmes. We do need to talk. About what? What do you mean? Our case, Mr. Holmes. You sent me a message via your little thug. Uh -huh. His name Wiggins. is Wiggins, Inspector. Telling me that the case is solved. Well, Mr. Holmes, tell me, who is our murderer and where is he? The morgue. Eh? Eh? His name is, or rather was, Pablo uh. Coventry. He was also on the ship with Peter Carey, and he was a harpooner. I'll tell uh... you everything, Inspector, but do calm down. Mrs. Hudson will bring us tea and orange cake. He's going to construct cake? a story? You're spoiling me, Mr. Holmes. <gasps> That's my favorite. Orange favorite. cake, that sounds so good. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Inspector Lestrade told me that I should thank you for clearing my name. He also said that you were waiting for me here. I came as fast as I could. How did this guy know? Like, how was he enough. there? It's all because of you that this nightmare is finally over. I believe that this belongs to you. My father's securities. Incredible. But how did you get them? It would take far too long to explain. Tell me. This is extraordinary. You are a genius. Then that may serve or as an now? explanation. Goodbye, Mr. Nelligan, and good luck. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes, and thank you. A thousand times, thank you. Is this the right ending? It, like, was it correct? Is it gonna tell me? Peter Carey was murdered by Patrick Cairns, a professional harpooner, the only one capable of executing such an accurate throw. His tobacco pouch was found inside Carey's cabin, but the murder was in self-defense against an armed and furious drunken sailor. You decided to absolve Patrick Cairns. Clues found 16. Is it right? It's right, I guess, right? Hold to check your conclusion. Conclusion. Karen's skill. Oh, so I got it right. Accept. We're about to finish this case. Okay. You agree with the choice you have made and you're ready to start a new chapter. Yay! Your ranking. Personality ranking sympathizing. Case statistics. People solved this case same at 80%. People made the same moral trips. 59%. Uh, personality ranking, sympathizing. Yeah. 
Was it the right moral choice? Well, I guess so. Perhaps. Sound like the guy was, you know... A giant... Uh, what's the correct word I can use on stream? <laughs> a giant a-hole. Anyways, he was a murderer, you know? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Just a douche. Alright, well, uh, that'll conclude the today's Sherlock Holmes stream. Although there's six more cases for us to solve, so, you know, maybe every Watson Wednesday we can do something like this. The next stream will be Elden Ring. Um, probably gonna start in 45 minutes or something. I'm kind of late to a meeting, so I need to go. Uh, but I'll see you guys later in, uh, probably a little less than an hour or like an hour. We'll see. We might get a snack. See how long the meeting goes. I don't think it should be too long. And then, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys for Elden Ring. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for some chat. Thank you for help. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna read the super chat since I don't have time right now. I guess I'll just read them on Super Sunday. For real. I'll read them for real. Uh, unlike going fast through the last ones. Because we had a lot. So many collabs and stuff happening. Alright. I'll see you on the next stream. Elden Ring! Woo woo! Thank you for watching! We did it! Case closed! Yeah!